Welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, today, working on old buddy. As you can already see, there is, uh, there's no wheels and tires, there's no nothing. Uh, there was definitely some, some need of uh, upgrading in, under here. So I started to film um, the teardown of this and then I kind of got frustrated because I had to get a couple tools I didn't have and this and the other so I didn't film hardly any of it but anyhow we're back working on this truck I got a whole bunch of new parts some new parts some stuff we're going to reuse um, rotors I'm just going to clean them up they're not too bad and you know we're just we're running some cheap pads here so uh, not too worried about that per se but I'm just going to kind of clean them up because they didn't have the they had to order them and it would take a couple days and I want to get this thing put back together today but I ordered, had already ordered some stuff previous but new shoes for the rear got new calipers for the front got to take these brackets off transfer them over I uh, got new wheel cylinders in here new uh, seals uh, gaskets all that jazz got some some uh, beauty supplies here for everything some degreaser, some, uh, some more diff oil, diff fluid to top off the uh, diff. But anyhow, also, since we got the wheels off, I'm going to take about uh, 10 minutes, prep, prep these wheels, and uh, spray them black. So this will be old buddy's little first transformation. What do you think about it? It's going to look sexy. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we're going to take uh, these two of the fronts. I do need to get some, at least two new front tires. The rear aren't too bad they're not as dry rotted they're, they're kind of bad but I'm not gonna worry about it right now I'm just gonna do the uh, spray the outsides maybe spray the insides but mainly try to clean up the outsides spray them real quick just so uh, just so we got shows you looks a little better you know even even paint job but anyhow we're gonna get working on this um, I'll explain a little bit um, as we go maybe more or less but uh, to those that don't have or to those that are wanting to do this um, you do have to pull the the axle out to get the drum off and I was gonna get new drums but they're not in that bad shape either but also the studs they you got to push them through to get the drums separated from this so I'm like I'm not gonna mess with that but um, the bearings the bearings they don't look too bad they're not bad at all really um, axle nut this is this is one of the tool I thought I could get this off without the big socket but I didn't have it so I had to order that Amazon Prime, a couple days, good deal. Um, but other than that, I got, they didn't have the new spring hardware, but luckily that stuff isn't too bad, so I'm just gonna reuse the springs for the uh, shoes in the rear. Uh, in the front end, kind of the same thing. I got new, uh, got new wheel seals for this. Bearings don't look too bad. I'm gonna pull them out, clean them up, repack them, and throw it back on, put the new seals on and then put these back on the rotors. Gonna try to clean this up a little bit as well. Um, also these front bearings, they, they're actually, they, they, I don't see any kind of scoring on them really at all. They look pretty good to me. So anyway, we're just gonna kind of clean that up, put them back on and try to get this thing going and out of the shop so we can clear up some more room for, for other stuff. But definitely wanna get this, get this done so we can get her back on the road and driving. As you can see, I already took the, uh, the molding off and I started to take some of this off too. But it's very crusty, so I don't know what we're gonna end up doing with it, but clean it off first, give it a wipe down and see how, how it looks. And I knew about these holes back here in the cab. Not sure what I'm gonna do there, and I knew about those, but anyhow, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, but nonetheless, let's get started putting this thing back together.
think? What? what? <laughs> It's been a while. Coming in hot. I'm not even in gear. Can I go here? Yes. I'm still not in gear. Still... Put it in gear. Clear this way. Oh, the state trooper got him. Let's go. Let's buckle right now. <laughs> Let's go. Can you see how this mirror cut? All right, bud. Need to flex on something. Need to flex with this. Can I flex on your wheel? <laughs> if it was exposed. <laughs> only a couple what do you think, McKenna? Do you like it? Yes or no? I love it. Okay. That's all I need. That's all you need to know, guys. She loves it. So, uh, wrapping up the video here. I know I didn't video a lot, guys, and I'm sorry. I apologize. But I'll go over a couple things. Definitely looks a lot better with some uh, black wheels on it. So I'm thinking now that I'm actually going to have to repaint this truck, uh, kind of. I, I was just originally going to just clear coat it and just save, save what's here. But uh, there's a lot of paint over here. Like, I don't know if you can see or not, but it's all bubbly there. Obviously paint's missing there behind that the uh, dealio. I could, you know, I could just try to squirt some stuff on it, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking yet, but anyhow so anyway guys that's gonna wrap up this video thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one